Welcome to the Metamorphosis Show, the show where we don't talk about politics, even if it seems like you've woken up in a Ve Verhovian, <laughs> Verhovian dystopia. Uh, if Richard Dawson comes back to host a life or death game show, we'll know that the end is nigh. But until then, we're going to talk about sardines, why and how you would eat them. Uh, so if you are one of my vegan friends, this isn't necessarily an episode for you, but perhaps you can learn something in the way of what I understand is one of the most sustainable uh, varieties of fish that you can eat from the ocean at this point in 2016. So what I have here is a can of wild Pacific sardines that are sustainably caught in the Pacific Ocean. Wild Planet is a company that's gotten quite a bit of press, I would say, over the last couple of years. You have people like Tim Ferriss, Dom D'Agostino, uh, maybe Peter Atia to a lesser extent, talking about how good these things are for you. And from a, you know, a sustainable or a sustainability standpoint, as far as we understand it, you know, this is, this is one of the best things you can have. They're, they're super low on the food chain, so they mostly eat plankton. So you don't have to deal with the heavy metals issue that you would find in, say, the bigger fish like tuna, swordfish. Um, but also, you know, they, they grow really quickly and they replenish the stocks uh, pretty quickly as well. So, I mean, that's the story. I think that at some point there will be no such thing as sustainability because human beings uh, will just kind of overcome the planet's capacity to make food. But in the meantime, I think this is one of the best bets. So I used to think sardines were kind of disgusting um, and I don't know that I've completely changed my mind on that. They're really, really good for you though and as a result I think it's, I think it's worth getting over whatever Mm, whatever thing, whatever problems you have with it, because it's smelly or salty or fishy, what have you, I think that the benefits far outweigh your taste, you know, preferences. And bringing this into your into your regular diet will make a huge difference. So just looking at this packaging, and I get these things at um, I get this at Costco, and it's super, it's relatively inexpensive. So just from a nutritional standpoint, you're getting uh, 13 grams of protein in um, a two ounce can. Actually, that's not, that's not even right. Let's see, it's drained, it's like 2.82. So servings per container, okay, one and a half. You always have to look at that too, that's a little pro tip. How you doing, Antronique? Thanks for joining. Uh, Tomo, Trey, Tracy. Thank you guys for getting in on this live feed. If you have any um, feedback on sardines, any like recipes that you use, if you're eating them, if hell no, you would never eat these things, let me know in the comments to make this a little bit more interactive. Otherwise, I can just feel like I'm, you know, some gray beard lecturing you guys about something I don't know a tremendous about, but uh, amount about, but has had a really, I think, it, uh, I feel like I notice it. I feel like my, my hair is, is is shinier my skin's better and these are supposed to be benefits and i can't say that you'll get those as well but i think that uh you know you have to find out for yourself so back to the nutrition side um so it's one and a half servings in one of these little guys and so you're getting about 20 grams of protein you're getting about seven and a half grams of fat and all that's in here is extra virgin olive oil, sardines, a little bit of sea salt, and, and these wild Pacific sardines through Wild Planet, a little bit of aqueous sea smoke, which gives them that smoky, smoky Euphrates flavor, um, which some people find a little bit gross. So nutritionally, I just wanna read on the box to you. Listen to this, ounce for ounce, Wild Planet sardines provide more calcium and phosphorus than milk more iron than spinach, more potassium than coconut water and bananas, and as much protein as steak. One can of Wild Planet sardines contains 313 milligrams EPA and 688 milligrams DHA omega-3, 
and is an ample source of vitamin B12, vitamin D, and selenium. So as I was looking through the literature, yeah, there's a ton of talk about vitamin D and uh, the omega-3s, obviously. And the, the whole fats, omega-3 versus omega-6 discussion is something I'll go in uh, in greater detail in a different, different episode. But this stuff is really easy to implement, this stuff, meaning sardines, really easy to put into your diet, especially if you're doing like a modified ketogenic diet, which would or a ketogenic diet across the board, which would mean you're getting most of your calories from fat, a moderate amount of protein, and very low carbohydrates. This stuff makes me feel good and is easy to eat and fast. And you probably heard Tim Ferriss or Dom D'Agostino talk about carrying these with them when they travel. If you're in an airport and all there is is airport garbage, which is pretty common, you can grab one of these and be pretty well satisfied. Or, I mean, if you're a bigger guy or gal, you may need two. Usually it just takes one. I, I really can't eat more than one can of these, and I've tried. Um, today, at the very end, I will eat the can. I will attempt to eat a can of sardines to the flight of the bumblebee. Uh, okay, so how to eat these things. I definitely want Antronique to chime in on this because... I think that this guy eats more of these things than I do. He eats them just about every day. So what I'm gonna show you is a little bit of lemon. We've got our sardines, and I got a little bit of salt that I'm going to sprinkle over the top. Normally when I eat these things, I put them in a big salad. And, oh, here he is, he's chiming in. <laughs> Old Bay. <laughs> Other people like to add mustard, mustard? Oh man, that's like people who put ketchup on their eggs, mustard on their sardines. Different strokes, right? So I'm gonna try that though. Thank you, Antronique, for that. Um, I normally put them in a salad because I like that an avocado tends to coat everything along with the extra virgin olive oil, along with the sea salt. So you got your salt, you got your, hi Lauren Lane, thanks for joining. Um, sea salt, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of balsamic, and the avocado. And when those things are all mixed up in the everyday salad, that makes these things a little bit more tolerable, to me anyway. And sometimes I'll get super crazy and add a can of uh, wild caught salmon if I don't have any fresh. And that's just a super easy way to get a bunch of fat, a bunch of vegetables, and a moderate amount of protein, which is well within the guidelines of the modified ketogenic diet, at least as far as I follow it. So I'm gonna open these things up. It's got this little pull tab. The thing is, if I were to open it here, it'd probably squirt all over me, which is really gross. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this carefully. There's usually a lot of olive oil in here, um, which is just begging to go squirting all over you. So I'm gonna pull this very carefully. I'm gonna get it all over everything anyway. So. Look at that. Oh man. I don't recommend, oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't recommend opening a can of sardines live, but here it is. Um, I'm gonna bring this a little closer. You can see, Ugh. Right, okay, so you basically have four or five whole little sardines in there. Man, every time I open a can of sardines, I just think about that Biggie Small song where he's talking about eating sardines for dinner and, you know, the rags to riches. And uh, it's interesting now that people who are getting really health conscious and, and want a bunch of omega-3 fats are now eating what was really sort of deemed, you know, a cheap food. Um, and now it's, it's kind of like, wow, you, if you're not in the know and you're not eating sardines, are you kidding? So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna pull one of these little guys out. So here's your, here's your sardine, okay? <laughs> Joel thinks of the Beastie Boys. I love that. So here's your sardine, and um, there are actually a couple little fins on there, and you can see these little bones, but all completely edible. So I usually put that in the salad, chop it up. This thing's kind of awesome. It's got the little spots on it. So. I showed you these little, these little piece of lemon. I'm gonna squeeze lemon on it because I'm gonna eat this thing live on the camera and I just don't, 
I guess I should eat one without anything on it first. All right. I don't have water. I don't have anything to chase this with. So I'm just going to eat it. Um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's pretty fishy. What are you going to do? But what you need to think is, man, this is so good for me. This is just making my nails and hair and skin a billion times better. And that's true scientific data right there. I just go back to the fact that it has more potassium than bananas. I already knew that about avocados, but man, sardines too? Okay. So I choked down the first one. I think on the second one, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. You didn't know that the Metamorphosis show is about fucking eating canned fish, did you? I didn't either, actually. I just thought of this while I was out here. So a little bit of, uh, a little bit of salt will be sprinkled. I squeeze a little bit of lemon, and we'll see if this is any better. Now, I know people that are pros are just popping these things like snacks. And, uh, and I, I just haven't got there yet. I really like to mix this with stuff and that's been appropriate, but you know, I'm learning something new with you guys right now. That's number two. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, oh, that's how you do it, Antronique. That's a great way to do it. Okay. So do you drink the oil? Drain some of the oil straight into my mouth. Yeah, I always wonder because I'm, I wonder how high quality this olive oil is. You know what I mean? This is not cold first press, I don't think. I think this would have to be the absolute cheapest olive oil you could source in order to pack fish in it. It just doesn't make sense that you would put good stuff in there, right? You could send the good stuff to market. Um, I also want to know what you guys think about anchovies in relation to sardines. And if you have any good recipes for all these small oily fish, whether it's smelts, sardines, anchovies, uh, I would love to know about it. And probably so would everyone else, so please share. Uh, looks like I have two of these left. And then I'm going to go drink some scotch or something. Ugh, okay. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with the, the lemon juice and stuff. So this is skin. It doesn't have any scales. So you could just eat this. Um, okay, Antony, you do drink the oil. It should be extra virgin olive oil, which is the first press. Come on, man. You really think that? How The price is too low on this stuff for... I mean, this is like 12 bucks or something. $12 worth of olive oil is like half this size if it's really good stuff. You might be right, though. So I'm going to eat this. Uh, this is number three. It's actually getting better. <laughs> Joel doesn't even think it is. Well, I mean, listen, Joel, it says that it is, right? Look at that. Packed in extra virgin olive oil. Um, and I'm sure I've had worse quality olive oil, but man... That's good to know. Antronique's such a boss, though, just drinking the oil. I've thought about it many times, and like, eh, I just don't know. Anyway, this is number three, and this stuff's only getting better. Mmm. I know, I've, I've heard that, Joel, and, and I also wonder um, where the hell my olive oil is coming from. You know that if, like, I get the extra virgin, the organic extra virgin at um, Costco, it's a massive bottle. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think probably there's a lot of shenanigans um, happening in, in a lot of food packaging businesses. But olive oil seems like super susceptible. All right, this is the fourth and final um, sardine. And uh, I guess I might as well just get it over with so I can begin to wrap this up. But... Um, yeah, I'm gonna ask you guys one more time if there's any uh, special way you like to eat them. Anything like over, I don't know, along with a, a specific vegetable or something, man. I'm just just curious. Here we go, number four. Mm, okay. All right. 
a little bit better. Also, um, do you ever cook them? I mean, they're sort of, what are they doing in here? They've been, they've been smoked. Is that what's, how are they cooked actually? Um, these aren't raw, are they? Oh, lightly smoked, scale free. Hmm. All right, that's about all the sardines I need. You can see there's still a bunch of oil left over. Um, but man. So I just had a good dose. Um, yeah, sriracha blackened. That wouldn't be bad. I thought about grilling them before or just, uh, you know, really searing them in a super hot cast iron pan. Um, just to give them a little bit more texture on the outside. But uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Um, I wanted to say uh, if you aren't doing these, you know, give them a shot. I know that a lot of people have already been converted. That's a really easy way. I just, you just saw me eat 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of really good fats. I would make this, uh, like I said before, I would eat a bunch of avocado with it. Maybe even dump some some of my preferred extra virgin olive oil. You could do like entrenique and just pour the, pour the can over the top. Um, oh man, what else to say? I, I really don't know. I mean, sardines, I didn't, uh, they just grossed me out for the longest time. And, and I remember my grandmother eating anchovies on pizza and I was just appalled because she smoked those long brown cigarettes, right? And she drank scotch at like, 10 30 a.m. and so just a lot of stuff that she did you know as as much as I loved her was just kind of <laughs> gross she used to eat tomato aspic as well and make it and uh, I remember my dad telling a story about chicken livers and eggs that she prepared one morning this is in the 70s you're like smoking a cigarette and making chicken livers and eggs I just can't imagine um, so I would encourage you to check out sardines try them in the way that you think is going to be the most sustainable for you to eat these apparently sustainably caught fish and uh, I guess that's about it this is a pretty quick episode I would love to know um, how you prepare them if you could share any other recipes people would love that and so now um, the metamorphosis show briefly sponsored by 30minuteadvantage.com if you are looking to make a massive transformation of your own, head over to 30minuteadvantage.com and check out the Metamorphosis program. It is a four-week course created to transform your body with cold water therapy, meditation, farm-to-table nutrition, and 30-minute workouts. You can actually use the coupon code today, SARDINES, that's right, S-A-R-D-I-N-E-S for $50 off of the cover price. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. I can't wait to hear about your experience with sardines, anchovies, smelts, herrings, all the small oily fish. Let me know. And uh, don't forget, you have so much power. Use it wisely.